In this video, we discuss about a fungus named Cordyceps. The Zombie Fungus As the name suggests, this fungus makes its host a zombie. It usually affects insects. So, what about humans? Could this one, turn us into zombies? Zombie Fungus or Ophiac cordyceps unlateralis is mainly found in the tropical forests of African and American continents. This species of parasitic fungus, require a habitat having abundant ants. Why ants? Ants are the main victim of this zombie fungus. Fungal spores of cordyceps, will stick onto the ant's body, and slips a fungal cell inside. Inside ant's body, it will start to multiply. It floats on ants' blood, and spreads throughout the body. Slowly, these multiplied cells change each other, and fuses into a super microorganism. Now, it invades the ants' muscles, and starts to show some strange behavior. It walks out of the nest. It was not his will to leave the safety of his home. But the parasite, which invaded its muscles and overruled its brain, commanded for it to leave his colony. Cordyceps, is finding a place near the colony, with right amount of light and humidity, needed for its growth and reproduction. Ant is now its puppet. Cordyceps will at last find a place with rightful condition for its growth. For to ensure death of the ant, and for to take nutrients of its whole body, it will force ant to struck his head into a leaf. Soon ant dies. After a few days, Cordyceps will start to grow out of ant's body. Now, it has a capsule-like structure, which contains millions of spores. When it's ready, spores are released as 1000 inches a millisecond. Grounds are covered with it now. Waiting for more hosts. Now, Cordyceps will get thousands of ants as hosts. It's just a matter of time. This cycle continues. It releases more spores from each hosts. Now, Cordyceps wipes out entire ant colony. But, the confusing part is that Cordyceps hasn't even touched the brain of any ants. If they didn't affect the brain, how does the parasite controls it? The multiplied spores inside ants body, will fuse together gaining ability to communicate each other. Now, the super microorganism controls, the muscles of its host by spreading its roots. Eventful it affects the ants head, it will not gain control of its brain. The strange action of the parasite, is still a mystery. A fossil, dates back 48 million years, proved the age of cordyceps. There are about 600 different type of cordyceps, which targets different insects then, why didn't this furious parasite wipe out the entire species of insects? As a parasitic fungus, it needs a specific amount of humidity and sunlight, for its reproduction. As the climate vary in different regions, it will result in the failure of reproduction. Unavailability of hosts nearby also affects its growth. This, decrease the rate of spreading infection. As the evolution progress, ants mastered a skill to sense the infected one, and it will be carried out far from the colony to avoid more infection. Evolution and mutation, progress in every species of organisms. In microorganisms, it will be 10 times faster than those in animals. So, what if, evolution gives cordyceps a chance to manipulate humans? Even if the parasite was inside our body, we will not feel any symptoms outside, even if we diagnosed, we couldn't even find its presence. As the parasite grows using our nutrients, we will be compelled to have more, and more food. Changes, will occur in our daily routine emotions will collapse, it will not touch our brain. But, it will gain control of our central nervous system. We will start showing strange behaviors. Our body will be under control of cordyceps, but it will not control our mind. Now, our fate will be same as of those little ants. At a rightful place for its growth, the parasite will trap us, and leads to more infection. It will wipe out the entire humanity within a few months. But the funniest part is that, Cordyceps will at least take a billion years for to evolve as such an organism, that could destroy us. Before that, Earth will be a planet not suitable for living. We will be colonizing in more planet, which are suitable for inhabiting. On the other hand, 
cordyceps are used in traditional Chinese medicine, as immunity boosters. They are even used in modern medicines, so, there are no chances for cordyceps to become nightmares for humans.